Hi everybody, welcome to my video. I begin in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. My presentation is on St. Peter Claver. He was called the Slave of the Slaves. He was a Spanish Jesuit priest and missionary um, who is the patron saint of slaves, the patron saint of the Republic of Colombia, and the patron saint um, of the ministry to African Americans. Oh, also the patron saint to seafarers, which is anyone that sails or works on a ship. He was born in Spain in 1581 to a devoutly Catholic and prosperous farming family. He was well educated. In university, Peter had a friend who received private revelations from the Lord, and the Lord told that friend that he wanted Peter to become a missionary for him. And over time, the Lord mentioned this a few times to that person. And then finally, the Lord told him to tell Peter, how long must I wait for you to make up your mind? Well, to make a long story short, Peter accepted the Lord's invitation and he sailed to Cartagena. Cartagena is a northern port in Colombia which served as an entry point for African slaves. 10,000 slaves were brought to that port each year and under such horrible and inhumane conditions that some one-third of them died on the boat on the way there. This practice, this disgusting, uh, unspeakable practice, was strongly condemned by several popes and even labeled supreme villainy, yet it continued to flourish. Before Claver had arrived, a holy priest, a Jesuit priest, Alfonso de Sandoval, dedicated 40 years of his life to the slaves, and now Claver was to continue that work. And this is how it was. As a new ship of slaves would arrive, Peter Claver moved right onto the jam-packed boat, packed with bodies, and he would push through with, uh, uh, you know, one or two helpers, till he found the most needy, the, the sick, the exhausted, even the dying, and he would tend to them as best he could. Then after, all the slaves were taken off the ship, and they were chained, and these poor people were naked. They were terrified. He then moved among the rest of them with whatever he could, food, drink, brandy, lemons, tobacco, medicines, whatever he could to help them. He showed them compassion and care. And these terrified prisoners believed that they had been kidnapped and brought there so that they could be eaten, cannibalized. Though much of his care was given silently, through interpreter St. Peter Claver did share simple words of faith, hope, and love, and eventually taught them about God. He showed them dignity which is so important to every human life. He tended to them and preached to all, regardless of color or religion. He was what we might think of as a powerful pioneer for human rights. This amazing man slept very little. He prayed for five hours before starting his day. And then, during his average day, he might baptize people, he might preach, he heard confessions and served mass, he tended to the sick, he visited prisoners and converted those um, who were on death row, sentenced to be executed. As St. Paul said in the Bible, I made myself all things to all people. And that is exactly what St. Peter Claver did. Every single soul was precious to him, as it is to God who created us. He did not even want one soul to be lost, so he worked tirelessly. He even baptized many on their deathbeds. He, in some cases, he waited many, many years for people to convert, but he never lost faith or hope. He was also humble, yet heroic, in the confessional. At times, St. Peter was also firm. He had to be strong with the people to discourage them, the slaves in this case, from reverting back to old beliefs and superstitions. 
Given their situation, he could not set them physically free, but he could set them spiritually free, and that he devoted his life to. And he used patience and love, and he taught them about Jesus and, most importantly, the sacraments. Here is something special for us to know. St. Peter also enrolled these people in the holy scapular of our Blessed Mother, thus entrusting their souls to her care. What a beautiful and powerful gesture that was. During his 40-year career as a missionary, it was estimated that St. Peter baptized and instructed 30,000 slaves but his apostolate extended even further as he also preached to the sailors who came into that port and the traders and the country folk and townspeople. After four years of sickness and, and terrible suffering and abuse, Peter Claver died in the year 1654. He was at the age of 73 years and in death for all to see, his face shone with brilliance and loveliness. And that's a special sign of blessedness displayed by some saints. Very much a special, special grace from God. The city magistrates who had previously looked down upon him for his work, in the end provided him with a grand and fitting funeral. As I close, I wish to quote our Lord. Whatsoever you did to the least of your brothers and sisters, that you did unto me. Never let an opportunity go by when you have an opportunity to show love or goodwill, especially to the less fortunate. I pray in Jesus' name for all to be blessed. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen.